Hey there guys, I wanted to do a video about Google Trends. I got a couple questions from people who are saying, look, there's, you know, Google Trends and you've mentioned it before, but how do you actually use it to find niches? How do you do niche marketing? So that's what I want to do with this video. So I'm going to go into Google Trends. I'll type in the word Google Trends here. That's going to come up. And then I'll show you how I use it. Now again, there's many different ways to use it. This is a really powerful tool, but I'll just show you how I use it. So Google Trends is a pretty neat website and it shows different trending subgenres. And there's latest stories, obviously coronavirus is a big one. And then you can see there's shopping guides and things like that. Now again, you can use for all of this other things, but there's a recently trending piece here. What I do is I go right to the top and I go into this little menu bar on the left hand side and I click on trending searches. And when I do that, I'm going to see the daily search trends that are coming up. This is like a daily aggregate of the search trends so far. So we can see here the first one is a Saturday Night Live skit that happened the night before. And this is parroting Rudy Giuliani and the court battle between Trump and Biden and the election contest contesting and that sort of thing. So what I do with this is I look at this and I go, hmm, is there an opportunity here on Redbubble or TeePublic because of this high trending search? So I'm going to go now into Redbubble and I'm just going to pop this open and I'm going to just start my search. So I'm going to go, okay, how many designs do we have for Trump, for example? Okay, so it's going to come up and we're going to see there's 281,000 results, which isn't it's not massive, but it's it. There's a lot. That's a lot. Okay. Hmm. So who is now coming into the White House? Well, why don't we look up Biden? Okay. And if we do Biden, well, there's like half the results. There's only 133,000 results. And again, you might think, well, that's a lot of results. There's no way I can get, I can get, uh, you know, my my design up there. Well, there's these other suggestions as well, right? So what happens if we type in Kamala Harris? Is it going to be less than Joe Biden? It is. It's only 50,000 results. Oh, hmm. well, considering that these two are going to be in the White House for the next four years, this might be an area that we would look at. 50,000 results is not an outrageous result. If you were to come up with a couple hundred designs and they were good designs, I mean, some of these designs are not exactly, you know, masterpieces of, you know, art, but, you know, somebody somewhere is buying them. So, I mean, these are not, you know, insanely time intensive designs what I would do then is I would look at hmm do we have anybody in Google trending here that is even more um, you know local for example so there's a lot of football obviously I mean I'm recording this on a Sunday so I mean there's gonna be lots of college football from Saturday and a lot of NFL football on Sunday I don't really use anything for as far as sports but as I continue to scroll down I might see something else. This is from going, I'm going back a couple different days now. So we're on Thursday now. I'm going back in time. Ooh, what is this? Here's another political one. Gavin Newsom stay at home order. Hmm. Well, there's 200,000 searches. California is a pretty big populous state. Huh. I wonder if there's something on Redbubble for that. Sue, so, let me just pop open red bubble and I'll type in Gavin Newsom. Let's see what comes up. Huh. So here we have the governor of one of the most populous states in the entire country of the United States and there's 265 results total. That's not very many results. Now these are a little bit a little bit negative <laughs> uh, but you know what there's some pretty basic stuff uh, 265 is pretty good. So that's probably where I would start. I would look at that and go, well, I can come up with 150 designs on my own. I would own essentially a third of this genre, this entire genre. So this is just an this is just a way that you could look up, you know, local like, like local politicians, you know. That's that's another one, right? So here here's another way I would do it. I would just so now I'm thinking, hmm. So I'd go in, okay, what's the next most popular state? Well how about let's do Texas. Texas governor. Okay, so Texas governor is Greg Abbott, it says here. 
And again, I want to point out, I know nothing about politics. I am not a, I'm not even American. Okay, so here we got Greg Abbott. Well, let me type in Greg Abbott. What do we get? 21. 21 results. So if you have any, now again, I'm, I apologize on behalf of Redbubble. There's a few in here that are a little racy. Uh, but again, if you're looking for a genre, check out local politics. Check out your your check out your um, your city. Check out your province, your state, wherever you live, because there may not be a whole lot of results, right? Like you know, I used to live in a town, and I don't live there anymore. But I used to live in a town in Canada called Thunder Bay. Well, when I type in Thunder Bay, there's only 337 results. Like, that's not very many, right? So if somebody wanted a witty shirt, obviously, you're not just going to do, like, like this one. I mean, you'd think, okay, well, Thunder Bay, 1683 Ontario. I mean, there it is. That's pretty basic, and it's one of the best-selling designs on here. Now, again, it's a very low, like, it's a very thin genre, but it, there's something here. I mean, there's lots of, you know, public domain, um, you know, flags. There's lots of things here that, are pretty straightforward. This one's just a picture of Thunder Bay. I used to live here. This is a mountain and it looks like there's a person's head and he's laying down. It's like a sleeping giant. So I mean I used to live right there. That's Lake Superior, right? So I mean it's not like this is not high end. This is taking me hours and hours to create this artwork. This is just pretty basic stuff. And again, you could pick any city. I mean there's thousands and thousands of cities. So just using location as an example, using politics as an example, you could have many different genres. So I hope that helps. Like I say, I don't use Google Trends specifically to find, like it's not going to be screaming at me, use this exact design, but it just gives me an idea as I scroll through and I go, huh, maybe there's politics, maybe there's locations, maybe there's certain things that happened. You know, obviously things like, you know, the stay at home order is very specific, right? Again, I want to point out, I'm not using this to push any sort of politics. I'm just saying, if you're looking for a genre with a lot of searches, but not a lot of designs, this is a possibly an opportunity. So I hope that helps, guys. Just wanted to do a quick and, you know, quick and, and uh, down and dirty video here to show you guys how I, you know, within five minutes, I can pick a couple genres that would keep me busy for the rest of the day.